Well, there aren't too many games that come tougher at the start of a season when you're travelling on the road for your first fixtures than what Liverpool have had to endure. First Chelsea on the opening day. A little home game with Bournemouth in between and now a journey to not exactly last season's surprise package in Newcastle. Now with the great wealth they have, great expectations around St James's Park. Even bigger expectations this year. They're in the Champions League at Liverpool's expense and today they'll want to overturn Liverpool given the two results against them last season. Well, let's start with the team news. We'll start with Liverpool and we'll start with the good news of the week, of course. Lexi McAllister had his red card rescinded by the Football Association, but there's no Ibrahima Konate today. He's got a muscle strain, so Joel Matic comes in. The On the other chain, he's Wataru Endu come in for his full debut, having come on for a cameo last week. It means that Cody Gakpo goes up front and Diogo Jota drops to the bench. Well, Newcastle United held their own for long, long periods of the game last week against the champions, Manchester City, but ultimately that game would end in defeat. Once again, Anthony Gordon, as, as Gary mentions, is preferred to new signing Harvey Barnes. And uh, Lewis Hall, who joined the club this week from Chelsea, isn't included in the matchday squad at all. Well, Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to get a yellow card here for throwing the ball away. He felt he was fouled. There was certainly uh, an arm in his back from Anthony Gordon. Here's Mohamed Salah on the charge for Liverpool. Lovely feet to get away from Byrne, who's trying to get back with him. And the big fella from just up the road in Blythe does well. Oh, Alexander-Arnold could be in real trouble here. He's just been booked. And now John Brooks might need to have a little word. I don't think there's a great deal in it, but Trent Alexander-Arnold does make a movement towards Gordon with his arm. Well, that's a talking point early on. That's Alexander-Arnold, and he's done really well to flick the ball onto himself and dance away from Byrne, but he's not going to find a, a red shirt. The interception was, was good by Fabian Schert. That's Sobos light. It's a lovely ball for Luis Diaz. Just opening the game up. And Luis Diaz penetrating, powerful. And he goes on! And he forces a very good save from Pope. Well, it was a really good save. Sobos light does exceptionally well to find the pass out to the wide area. And then cutting in on his right foot. It just keeps going, does Diaz. And it's, oh, I think it's actually going wide, but Pope's not to know that. Dive to his right hand side. Big, strong right hand to it. Has turned into trouble in the shape of Dominic Sobos Light. Oh, that's a slip by Alexander Arnold, and this is Gordon in on goal and scores. It's a gift for Anthony Gordon, it's a gift for Newcastle United. And Liverpool find themselves behind. Massive, massive slip from Trent Alexander Arnold. And he just loses concentration a little bit as Trent slides under his foot and the the pace that Anthony Gordon gets onto it. It's just that one-on-one -on -one situation, isn't it, with the goalkeeper, Alison Becker. You always fancy the goalkeeper to come out on top when it's Becker, but on this occasion, it just scrums under his legs. Mm. There's Gordon. And that's for Isak. Van Dijk's going to be penalised and it's going to be a card for the Liverpool captain and it's red and things now for Liverpool just seem to go from bad to worse Virgil van Dijk the captain sent off well I can't believe that I, he surely he, he takes the ball surely and Liverpool are down to 10 men and a big rethink is needed now it does look as if Mohamed Salah has gone up through the middle. Trippier, a nice run by Tonali. And uh, it was well seen and covered by Wataru Endo. They're going to try and catch Liverpool Cole from the corner here. They've taken it quickly, that's Trippier. It's Alexander Arnold heads it away, but it only comes down. And that is an absolutely incredible save. It really is by the very best in the business, the best in the world, Alison Becker again, defying gravity and defying belief. Well, that's phenomenal. You don't often see 
Alison Becker making world saves, but that is a world-class save. An obscenely good save. Newcastle wanting to get men forward here. Here's Rollington. And it's going to come to Almiron. Who couldn't have skied it any more than he did. Well, that was a real good opportunity. But it was never confident, was it, the strike with his left foot? Here goes Gordon again. Elliot trying to come back with his England under-21 teammate. Gordon wants to go all the way. Well, he's very single-minded. Well, you can see his starting position here and like the finishing position where he ends up more or less in the centre of the goal. Liverpool have got to stop that, We've got to get closer. Joe Gomez maybe could do a little bit better, not just him. Here's the Portuguese Diogo Jota. Now Salah! It's a good challenge in the end by Botman. Well, Botman does exceptionally well, but Mohamed Salah, he just, he just hesitates. Almiro. Oh, he's done brilliantly well, and he goes all the way. Just couldn't quite squeeze it in that far corner. He's so unfortunate. Well, he's allowed to run, what, 60, 70 yards. Liverpool can't get to him, and then try to bend down to the far corner. Just comes off the upright, and fortunately for Liverpool, it just goes the right way for them. Introduction for Jarrell Kwanza and Darwin Nunez. What it does mean, of course, with Liverpool bringing on the extra attacker for Alexis McAllister is that we'll be a little short numbered on, on the counter attack at the other end. Here's Darwin Nunez. Darwin Nunez has scored! What an introduction for the Uruguayan! Liverpool, down to 10 men, have done the unthinkable. They've levelled the game up at St James's Park, and Darwin Nunez is the man who has led Liverpool's fans into delight. Well, last throw of the dice from the manager was throw on forward players, take the game to Newcastle. Darwin Nunez has just done that. They played it out well, really well. And the front three combined together, but Darwin Nunez is always a threat. He's always looking to go in behind. Can he finish? You bet he can. He finds that far corner. And Liverpool... Back on level terms against all odds. It's Diogo Jota going back to help Andrew Robertson. Burn with time. Doesn't use it very well. Sobos light. And here's Diogo Jota. Surely they can't. Jota on the charge. On towards Darwin Nunez again. Jota's gone for the return. He won't get the ball. Salah will. Sobos light. Shot charged down well by Byrne. Liverpool committing men forward. They want to win this now. Barnes, Guimaraes. And it comes to Almiron. What a block that is by Robertson. They're appealing for handball. Liverpool are off breaking downfield. Salah will chase. Oh, I think it hits the back of Andy Robertson. I think it more in desperation than anything else that the crowd were screaming for. Here's Guimaraes. It's hit Elliot. Now Salah. And on for Nunez. Surely he can't win it for Liverpool! Darwin Nunez with the most incredible turnaround you have ever seen. The Uruguayan has sprung from the Liverpool bench to put them in front with only 10 men at Newcastle. They'd have celebrated a point like there's no tomorrow. They could well be celebrating a win here, Liverpool. Absolutely incredible from Darwin Nunez. Incredible from Liverpool. Well, he's rose to the occasion, Darwin Nunez coming off the bench as a substitute, a late substitute of that. But Liverpool have got him to thank for possibly the greatest three points they'll get in the Premier League. And again, it's a wonderful, wonderful finish. Gamares is the one that's guilty of giving it away. I thought it might have been a question of offside, but he times his run to absolute perfection. And what about the finish again? Across the goalkeeper, Pope doesn't do enough. 
but all credit to Darwin Nunez, all credit to Liverpool. Liverpool's Uruguayan devil has sprung from nowhere to earn Liverpool the most famous of three points. Down to ten men with their captain sent off. Liverpool not only get themselves an equaliser, they then get themselves a winner. No wonder he's smiling. They all deserve a big smile today. Newcastle United 1, Liverpool 2.